Pierre, congratulations on this film. It is so much fun. Thank you, Serena. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate um, it. I heard you say that the first time I saw the cover of the book, it was it was a mind blower. What was it about the cover? Oh my God! Yes, you're absolutely right. Um, I think that cover was so striking because immediately was able to convey the big idea behind those characters. You know, like these five terrifying animals. Um, that we all think are bad, and then they are dressed up with those, like, uh, you know, Blues Brothers slash Reservoir Dog suits yeah. uh, and lined up like this. And to me, it just like it just immediately clicked, you know, the big idea is here, and that world of, again, Tarantino, that's always what that kind of referred to, you know, just who I'm a big fan of. Like, that was my world. I love drawing animals, I love gangster movies, or like kind of that kind of movie. Uh, and there's a massive idea behind it, behind the behind that uh, behind that cover and, and, and that those books really. Uh, to me, it was a, a no-brainer, you know. That, that's why I think I really enjoyed this because when it comes to kids' animations or family, we'll call them family films. Yes. You you know you, you can't push the boundaries that much. So you know when you go to producers and you go. Tarantino, Pulp Fiction, that's yes. what I see. <laughs> what is their first response? I think it is, you know, you're totally right. I mean, like, Tarantino just carries so much more than just, you know, just uh, guys in suit. You have a lot of swearing, a lot of blood, super long dialogue, you know, and, and it's shot in a very adult way, uh, which is what makes it so tasty. So the, the challenge was how do you adapt this for children, I think. But mostly, I think from there, the idea was like, really quickly to go into high genre and it was more like geared towards you know the ocean 11 you know oceans franchises you know from 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 Soderbergh and the other the, the original ones um but uh and and what became so interesting was how do you adapt those heist films as a family gateway into those films because we all love them so much but it's rare to see them in animation like at least the way we've done it um yeah. and, and and it's 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 uh there, there might be a reason for that the reason is that Usually those those movies are like incredibly complex in terms of plot, uh, and it's a magic trick at the end. But there is not they are not as deep in terms of character development and character you know uh, uh, depth and character's arc. So the idea was just to make sure that we had the feeling of a heist movie, but yet you could relate to those characters and their evolution. You know, yeah, and that was that was a challenge. You'd never know that this was your feature debut. Like yes. most people would go into this and go, oh my God, what am I taking on? But you were really excited. Were there any days where you just went, oh my God, really, what have I taken on? Well, that's the thing. I think from the beginning it was, I mean, look, I've been working in the animation industry for a long time and working at DreamWorks for almost as long. Uh, and I know, you know, the whole studio I know the crew I know you know so many people that I felt completely supported by all that environment uh, to be able to guide me through it as well and help me through it as, and, and and support my vision um, and and that made that made it very comfortable um, and so that's that's the first thing the second thing is to never look too far ahead at the mountain <laughs> that you're facing <laughs> just just be like the first few steps the next few steps in front of you and then and then slowly you just climb that mountain you know well well, you did climb that mountain and you gave us, as I said, such a fun film with so many different messages going through it as well. And one of the things I loved was Mr. Wolf discovering that, you know, being good could make him feel good. And he discovered his tail wag. Yes. What for you gives you those tail wag feels? For me? Oh, my God. It's like. My children, first of all, and uh, secondly, uh, secondly, I think it's like seeing, you know, seeing the, during this movie, just making this movie was really just seeing how people were excited about working on it, you know, and, and, and able to engage with what we were trying to do and, and bring ideas to the table and just us welcoming in. So that, that made me very happy, you know, and then, and then people, you know, just being there and just, Telling you that they're loving it, you know, and 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 I was, you know, you're so elated in that case, you know. So what definitely. do you hope? What do you hope audiences take from this? I think, I mean, it's it's a movie about friendship, definitely, you know, like friendship and just not giving not giving up on them, uh, on your friends, uh, and and also a, a, a movie about being able to change 
a little bit your life if you need to. You know, just don't take it, don't take everything for granted all the time. And definitely, you know, it's a message about difference. You know, like don't judge people. You don't know what they're going through. You know. Exactly. And finally, finally, there's more than one book in this series. I think yes. we're up to number eight. So, are we going to have more? Are you coming back for a sequel? For a sequel? Um, I, ho I hope so. I really hope so. I really want to see those characters cool. again, you know. I think we all do. I mean, we had such a blast living with them for the last three years. I think uh, I can't wait to see them come back. Yes, for sure. Great. Well, we can't wait either. In the meantime, we can enjoy these. Thank you so much, Pierre. Thank you.